Welcome back to the channel, y'all. We back here for another video. In this video, I wanted to go over the Airbnb API. And this is actually not the official API because let's see, let, let's, let me show you guys my Safari. So we have here like the, if you look up Airbnb API, they don't really, they don't really care about us. <laughs> no, I'm joking, but they don't have an API, like a public one that is like easily accessible. I think you have to be like a private corporation or something like that in order to access the API. But there is a, a neat workaround. If you guys ever heard of Rapid API, it's like a API hub. Like there's a whole bunch of like a bunch of APIs. You guys can like uh, go on this website and like just search. You see here, a whole bunch of random APIs. And if we search up Airbnb, we'll see there's two. I'm gonna be working with the most recent one. It has better latency if you look, if you look at this actually. And yeah, it's by Data Crawler. So shout out to y'all, <laughs> Data Crawler, for making this API for us. And it's quite simple. You guys create an account and you go to pricing and you subscribe to it. And then once you're subscribed, you should be able to make these API calls. And they have a little bit of, they don't have like any tutorials and stuff, but they have like simple guides, kind of like how to, how to make this stuff work basically. <laughs> so if you go here to the endpoints, I'm going to be using search by geo coordinates. Because when you're working with Airbnb, that, I feel like that's like a really important feature is the search on um, using the, the coordinates. And we want to go here and change it. They actually have Swift, but let's go to Swift first and see. They have this for you to copy and paste. But uh, I feel like it'd be better if we just do it from like the ground up. So we look at the HTTP one and this kind of gives you like a start of what you need to do. So let's open up Postman and now I got Postman open up and, and I switched to dark mode. Um, I don't know what I was using light mode before. I prefer dark mode. I'm sorry for the light mode fans in the, in the crowd. All right. So once you're subscribed, oh, let's go back to search. Sorry. I had to refresh some stuff. Yeah, there you go. I had to refresh my thing because it was saying I wasn't subscribed when I am subscribed. But I'm good now. You see, it says subscribe. Uh, let's go back to search. And here in the code snippets, we go to HTTP. All right, so in this, what do we have to do basically in this API? So we're going to have to make a, a get request or we're going to have to yeah, send a get request to um, an API, to a server. And with the with our get requests that we're sending, we need to send some headers. Basically, we need to send these two headers. As you see here. So let's just, yeah, let's do that. So this is the... Um, the request URL. Yeah, this is the host. So we need to put HTTPS. And then www. You put in the host. And then you're going to put in this, which is basically the rest of the, the URL that we're going to need to get to have all these parameters, basically. Because you see here. There's a latitude, the, the north, because actually, let me talk about these parameters first. So this is northeast latitude, northeast longitude, southwest uh, latitude, southwest longitude. And what this is basically doing is like creating a box. Like if you think about it, it's creating like a box. And that, because in Airbnb, you're, we're making a search by geolocation. So we're making a box. And this will search within these that box basically, and give us those uh those listings. So we have this, so we're set on this. And now, what do we need? We need to add our header, our headers. Sorry. <laughs> um, we can just copy this as a key, put it in here. Um, might as well copy this one too. You put it in here, copy this, put it in here. Uh -oh. 
and copy this. And you put that in here. Why are we doing that? All right. And if everything's good, we should get a response back, actually. Ah, and this is what happens, actually, when you do this, because... Actually, let me try something before I... <laughs> Let's buy it Safari. Let's see if it, gets, it gives us a certificate thing. Yeah, basically with this API, it, uh, every time you go out, like you try to make a request to it, it gives you this connection is not private. Which we can just bypass. Like on the browser, right? But how do you buy? And this is not, this is not giving us a response because we didn't send the headers since we just typed in the URL. Uh, so let's disable it here and we should get an actual response. Yeah, you see? So once you bypass the SSL verification, you're able to get the data. But first, you got to figure out like how to do that. And using Swift is kind of tricky. It took me some time. I had to do like some, some good old Stack Overflow searching. But uh, I found a solution. Let's actually just get into it because, um, yeah, I think that's... Uh, that pretty much wraps up what, going over the postman. Well, we could look, look over the, the response we get. But it's basically just, what do we get? We get the, these four things. Data here has all the listings, which is what we're looking for. And listings have information with all the listings. So, so yeah, that's the API. Now we have to try to make it work in Xcode. Let's call this Airbnb. API. All right. And we're just going to use storyboard and Swift. Well, not storyboards, but you can set storyboards. And we're not really going to... Let's just go straight into creating our service. We don't need to do much. So uh, create a new Swift file. Call it API service. And... Boom, 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 boom. You want to create a class called API service. We can use, uh, we can make it a singleton. So use your preference actually. If you don't want to do this, you don't have to. So API service. All right. And what are we going to do in our API service? So the first thing I wanted to do or not like to do is because <laughs> is because that's funny. Um, the first thing I want to do though is create a function that creates a URL request with the headers. Because as you guys saw, we need every network request we're sending to the API needs to have these headers. So might as well create a function that's gonna have that's gonna do that for us. That's gonna create. We'll just call it create URL requests. Um, from URL, type string, yeah, should be good. And this is supposed to return us a URL request optional. All right. So one more thing too is we need to create the base URL. And what the heck is our base URL? Our base URL, we could practically just make it this. Yeah, depending on, you don't know yet, like in the API service, you won't know if um, if you're going to search a destination, right? You might, you're going to need a different uh, ending to your URL. So for the base URL, we're just going to set this, uh, the beginning part right here. And in the function where you're making the request, because we're going to make another function after this called fetch listings, or just stamp it on, or just create this down. And in, he, in, in each of these functions where we're creating a network request, we can add more stuff to this URL. And actually, I wanted to make this a component. Wait, URL components string. All right, there we go. And we want to make it a URL component because it makes it easier to add uh, query items. And a whole bunch. And yeah, basically, I think that's the main reason. It makes it easier to add query items. All right, so what are we gonna do in the create URL? Okay, so we're giving a string. Uh -huh. I don't like this, so let's make this a URL. So, 
So guard let that way we don't have to deal with an optional <laughs> guard let URL request equal URL request uh, from URL else return. Haha, uh -huh. and this and now this kind of makes it a lot easier because all we have to do is uh set the what do you call it the HTTP method, which is a get method. It's here with uh, it's a get method. And oh, this is not optional. We can get rid of this guard. Let. And actually, we want to set this to a bar. <laughs> My bad, yo. Apologies. Um. Return nil for now. Actually, we can just say return URL request. All right, and the last thing we want to add to this is the headers. So I believe it's add values or set value. Huh. Which one is it? Which one can I use? Oh, all HTTP header fields. And when you use this, you basically create an array of all the headers you want to use. So and it's an array of um, key values, key value pairs. So the first key value pair is this one. So come on down. <laughs> I like to use it. I like to write it like this. Ah. All right, let's get the, the key value. And oh, one thing I haven't mentioned is you want to be very What's the word? You want to be very cautious how many times you're making these number calls because you only get 10 <laughs> per month. If you go back here, we only, you only get 10 per month. So be very careful. Don't spam the, the what's it called? The, the server because you're, you're going to get, you're gonna, your API is going to be limited, I guess. Or it's going to, you're not going to be able to do any more requests. All right, so we're creating the URL request. We're creating the URL request. And I think that's it. Yep. So we want to fetch the listings for. And since we're going to use example, we don't have to, like in our in the example that they give us. Where's uh, Where's Safari? In the example that they give us, they already given us some coordinates, so we're not gonna have to stamp these out. But in your project, you're probably gonna wanna have like a way, you might, you might wanna pass it in through here where you have like the four coordinates, basically. But in our project, we're not really gonna use any of that since we already have them given to us. All right, so with that being said, what do we need? So in here, we need to get our URL request. So, so actually, but before we actually make a request, we need to get our URL first because we need to pass that URL into this function. So we're going to call our base URL and then we're going to call the path. And then this path is where we're going to add this part. Where is it? Go to the HTTP. I said we're going to add all this. And to be honest, we, don't, we can, these are optional. The only ones that are required are the, the latitude and longitude stuff. So I'm just going to grab this. I'm going to go here and, oh, we need some parentheses. I mean, some uh, quotation marks. Yes. <laughs> I forgot what they were called. Uh, and then what else do we need? Um, so, oh, now we need the query items. Actually, we don't. We, we don't need the query items because we, I just attached this whole URL to it. Oh, and oh, we have to set it to a var actually because we're manipulating the, the base URL. And actually, with, the, this, met, with this method that I just passed in here, you, you don't need the query items, which is, quite, which is quite funny. Uh, so how do I want to do this? I'm going to show you guys how to do it with query items. 
just uh, just just a good like learning experience, I guess. Yeah, it's a good learning experience. All right. So what do you want to do? Is so we're gonna do northeast, and then you just pass in the value for it. You're just gonna do this for all four of them. Oh, oh, it's done it wrong. Let me see. That's, <laughs> I got confused. I thought it was like uh, the header field. Sorry about that. Yeah, you need to use a URL query item when you're working with these. So we're going to have four URL query items. And I'm going to just copy and paste this. Copy and paste. All right, there we go. So we have the four. And here we have the north. We can just do southwest lat. Southwest long. Oh, excuse me. All right. And this is 82. And this is the 39. And the cool thing about using the query items is you, you know, it does like, Adding the and here, it does that for you. It even adds this question mark here in the URL. <laughs> it does it all for you, so that's pretty cool. And you know, they can always change, right? Like, you don't, and it's kind of clear because you can just see here, these are all the query items in the request that I'm, or in the URL that I have. And what we want to do now is grab the URL from the base URL. So let URL equal base URL, let's just call it complete URL, dot URL, because this is a URL component, so you use dot URL, else we want to return, and actually, I realized here, we're going to be making a network call, and uh, I didn't stamp this out, correct, this function correctly, this is going to be an async function, so func fetch listings for async throws, so it's going to, And this is going to return an array of listings. This function. And what are listings? It's like a it's a model we need to create. Let me just uh, do this for now. And these are conform to decodable. All right. So this is failing because we don't have it returned, and. We also should set up an enum, enum network error. And I'm setting it up in this API server so you guys can see it and I don't have to, but usually you want to create a new file for this type of stuff. We want to conform to error. And I'm like, why is this doing this? Why is it doing this? Please stop. <laughs> All right, uh, invalid URL. And then we also want one for invalid URL requests. Maybe you want to differentiate. Uh, else we're going to, oh, I think I know why it's doing that because I'm missing a, yeah, I was missing a, a curly brace here. You want to throw network error dot invalid URL. And now we need to set up another guard let statement. Um, and this one, guard let URL request equal, what is it going to equal? Oh, create URL request from complete URL, else throw invalid URL request. So now we have our URL requests and we can make our network call <laughs> and we're doing it the async way. So I'm going to write it out like this and you do URL session dot share dot data. You want to make sure you have the async one and we have a URL request. So make sure you have the URL request and the async throws in the, in the one you're selecting. So a URL request, boom, 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 boom. Oh, we need to do try await 
in here. You might want to guard the response. Should I guard the response? I'm going to be a good uh, programmer and guard the response. Guard let response equal, <laughs> equal response as HTTP URL response. And then you want to set the change this thing Let, yeah all right http response dot status code equals 200 else we're gonna throw no another error invalid response throw network error invalid response all right so what's left we got to return our listing Let's just return an empty array actually. And then we're pretty much set. Now we need to figure out what the hell we're decoding. Excuse my language. <laughs> Cause we haven't, we didn't go through that actually. And now, we, now it's a little exercise. You know, something we, we do, uh, do this a few times already. So if you guys are familiar with the channel, then you might be used to this. So we're getting, this is our response. And we don't care about any of this stuff except for the data. And the data contains an array, as you can see here already off the bat. It's an array, right? An array of what? Objects. It looks like, yeah, an array of objects. And these objects are listings. You see like the average rating, bad thing, blah, blah, blah. All the, you can grab all the information you want. And, or need. <laughs> and so we need to create a response. Response equals, I mean, not equals, conforms to decodable. And we're going to let data equal an array of listings. Listings, all right. And listings, let's just get something very, let's get, what are we going to call this? Let's, let's just get the listing name. Let's get the listing name. We don't want to, you guys can get uh, whatever you need. And also be aware that if you get an average rating, you want to make it a, uh, an optional double because <laughs> I was playing with this API and I was banging my head against the wall. Like, Why is it not working? Why is it not working? And it was just because in one of these objects, there was an optional average rating. Like it, there wasn't an average rating. It was null. And it was causing my network request to fail because... If you don't set it optional here and it's optional in the like it's in the request or in the response, then your decoding is gonna fail. And that's not what you want. So let's go back to our fetch function and now we can use our decoder, JSON decoder. We need to put decode actually. Let's just do the decoding here. Sometimes I create the JSON, uh, like I just do it separately, but we can create the decoder here and I believe this would be a result. You need to try this data. And the result, yeah. All right, so and let's print result dot data. Actually, we can return that as well. And well, it looks like we're set. Now we need to just call this. Ah, not bad, right? Not bad. Not too bad. All right. Let's, so we need to call it. We're just going to use a task because it's an async function. We need to call API server shared. Create URL request from, no, wait, no. Fetch listing for. Yep, you just call that and it's an async function. And I think it throws, so you need to do try, awaits. And it should be, is it building? A is building. <laughs> Let's run this and see what happens. We should, it should, print, it should print. If it's working, it should print. And the first try, let's see. Let's see. Oh, my camera is, my camera froze a little bit, I think. And then, oh, I don't, I don't think it's loading. <laughs> oh no, wait, oh no, it's still, the app hasn't loaded. App hasn't loaded. 
and the suspense is killing me. Oh, ah, and now <laughs> I just, I forgot about this. I was so focused on making the network request. We're running into the SSL certificate error basically, and we have to find a way to bypass that, right? And that's actually something I worked on like a, like a week ago. I was trying to figure out how to bypass this, and it's not too tricky actually. So what we need to do is. Let me move this to the top, actually, because I don't want this here at the bottom. It's going gonna, it's gonna to make <laughs> this file look very ugly if it's at the bottom. <laughs> All right, so we need to conform to... We need to conform to a, a protocol. And that protocol is uh, the URL session delegate because we want to use that in order to bypass that certificate uh, little challenge that we're getting. And you'll see here we get this error. And to correct this error, you basically need to conform to NS object. You need API service to conform to NS object. And that's just because NS object, because this function or this protocol here, at the top level, it's conf it, uh, it inherits from URL, I mean not URL, it inherits from, what do you call it? The NS object protocol which means that the class you're working with has to has to be NS object if you want to use this. So that's how we get that error. And I think we're going to get another error. Oh, can't use a singleton. <laughs> yep. It'll be a singleton like. And then we need to use in our delegate, we, want to, we did receive challenge, I believe. Did receive a challenge. I challenge you. A hey, Black Panther's coming out. Is this your king? Oh, rest in peace, Chadwick, man. All right, so return. What do we need to return? So this is asking for a URL session. Oh, no, wait. It says a completion where we return void. Oh, wait. Is this the one we want to use? Did receive. Give me a second. Oh, this one. The async version. Actually, yeah, because we're gonna, actually we do need to use the async version because we're so may, actually may, very make sure make sure you're using the async version because we're we're using the async await to make our network request. So you need the async version. And here, and actually, that's it's a lot it's a lot neater. You don't have to use a completion handler. Completion handler. So we received the auth challenge the position. Uh, so URL session, wait, let me see. So you want to, so this, it's, it's expecting the return of a URL session dot authentication challenge and deposition. And you can just kind of, you can just type that in dot auth challenge deposition and then you specify credential. We want to we want to set this one, and then for the URL credential, we want to use the one with trust and sec trust, I believe. Oh no, sorry. You want to use yeah the one with trust, and then you want to use the challenge here that we received. So we're gonna basically trust the challenge. <laughs> Shout out to Swift. That's pretty. That's pretty neat. The way they they they, they stamped that out. So, protection space. Dot. Which one are we looking for? Server trust. And you want to force and wrap it. Oh, and we're missing uh, parentheses. All right, and it's building. This running now. I think I think we're good to go now. <laughs> I think we're good to cross fingers. Ah, did we receive the challenge again? Oh, I forgot the last part, which is you have to conform to the URL session. Oh no, you don't have to conform. We're conforming to it, right? But you have to equal. You have to set it equal to self, right? Like the otherwise, this is never gonna get called because we haven't set it to equal to self. Yeah, we haven't set it equal to self. So how do we do that? 
you want to create a session variable here and here we're going to create a URL session configuration delegate yep and yeah you want to use this with all this mumbo jumbo we're going to use a default configuration we set the delegate equal to self and this is just nail we don't, we don't use this and then you want to change this to session and let's do command b command oh wait, i didn't i never stopped running this <laughs> let's do command b success all right, all right. Third time's a charm, right? Well, we're getting the error again. <laughs> I guess not. Third time's not the charm. All right, what, what, what are we missing here? Huh? So something's... Because we're still getting the, the SSL error, basically. Uh, huh. Oh! <laughs> I remember now. I remember now. We actually, when, the, when we're doing this, we need to go to our. And actually, in my notes, I had a an article. Actually, let me open it. Shout out to whoever. Shout out to Chris. No wait. Yeah, shout out to Chris. Or whatever. Because this is the part that I was missing in my. Uh, in my what do you call it? In the plist, because we have to update our plist to let it know. Oh, we're we're doing a bunch of stuff. You sh you shouldn't do this like in a real app, because you're like bypassing a certificate and it leaves you like susceptible to um like a man in the middle attack. But we just want to like learn and use the AP then the Airbnb Airbnb API. So let's just blame Airbnb. You know, <laughs> just blame somebody else. <laughs> no, don't do that. All right, uh, so we need to add NS, NS app transport security dictionary. And we need to add, I'll link this Airbnb, um, I mean this Airbnb, this Stack Overflow post. All right. We want to set exception and domains. And I think also in our case we only want the the top, like we you don't need uh, you don't need these you just want the top part. Here I'll go through it. Exception domains and then this one. We're gonna use www.reverb.com. I don't even think you need the www. I believe you with this you should be fine. All right. And now we need um You want to set this one equal to yes. You want to set this one equal to no. And you want to set this one equal to yes. And you might not need all of these, but this is what I use and it, it worked out fine. So command B. And now let's run it. <laughs> Fourth time is the charm. Or maybe not. Ah, I don't think I, ah, I didn't add it here. <laughs> LOL. All right, so, yeah. So yeah, actually, I need, I need, we need to move these. Sorry, y'all. We need to move these into the here. Wait, let's make this a dictionary, and move these into here. And these are ah. Uh, wait, let me. Let me see. Wait. Let me delete this one. All right, so these are Boolean. This is a Boolean. Put this one here. And then put this one in here. Get rid of this and then change these to Boolean. All right, so this first one is yes. The second one is no. 
The second one is yes. I mean, the third one is yes. All right. We run this now. And the fifth time is the charm. <laughs> the 18th time is the charm. You know, that's the thing with priming. You know, it's, you just got to keep on at it. Just keep at it. You know, sometimes you run into some issues, but as long as you, you kind of know what you're doing and you don't stop. And it's small things too. Like it's not, like I know what we need to go there, but it's how you put it. And son of a, oh, one thing I want to know. Actually, you don't even need all this stuff. Just rapid API. And this should work, right? The 29th time is the charm. Huh. Wait, so you need to add it to this one. I thought that I was, that's what I was doing. Hmm. There we go. Why wasn't it adding it? Oh. All right, so we want to get rid of this one. All right. So you want to add it to make, you want to make sure it's under the rapidapi.com. Otherwise, you're going to get all, um, a whole bunch of, yeah. That's the thing with the P list. You want, like, the P list is kind of tricky sometimes. You have to be very detailed when you're working with it. And bam, fine. There we go. The 88th time was the charm. Here we go. We have our API call. Bam. And yeah, that's how you work with the Airbnb API on rapid.com. Uh, you want to make sure you have this P list here exactly the same, or you're going to run into issues as you saw. <laughs> and you want to set up your API service to bypass the certificate challenge, the SSL challenge using this. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Oh, one more thing though before I, I, I stamp this out is since you want to be very, what is the word? You want to be very cautious with how many network calls you're making. Once you make one, you could, you could, you should uh, like save it and create a JSON here. We're well, not save it, copy and paste it and just create a JSON. Ah, <laughs> I always do this with my J, the fake JSON that I make. I forgot to write mock JSON dot. You got to write dot dot JSON at the end. And you just want to copy and paste it in here, and that way you can use this instead of the um, actually making a URL request if you want to save, because you only get like ten a month. <laughs> so you got to be very, you got to be very stingy with it when you're making them. So you would just. What do we do? You would create a let URL. I think you have to guard let it. Let me just show you guys. Let URL equal bundle. Ah, bundle main. Main URL for resource. And then you do mock JSON. Then you do JSON. Ah. Oh, you want to throw network error, whatever. This is not a real response. And then you want to do let data equal data contents of URL. And I think you need to try with this. And I think we're reusing the word data. Oh, there's no response. Let's just, <laughs> this looks ugly right now. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> but I just want to show you really quickly how you would and you would just use this data to decode this data here. And that prevents you from having to do a whole network request. I just wanted to show you guys that. Um, I'll clean this up in the, I'll put this up on GitHub and I'll clean it up. <laughs> Cause this is like, what the hell is going on? Uh, yeah, actually I'm just under here. You guys don't want to see a table view and I've been talking for so long. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video working with the Airbnb API. 
I might do something with this. Although I, I would need to subscribe, right? <laughs> you gotta subscribe a little to get a little bit more um, benefits in the API. Eight hundred a month, not bad. Only five dollars. Actually, yeah, that's not bad. I think you gotta be very. It actually, is, it might be a good um, challenge because you have to you have to cash a lot of your responses and save them. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please uh, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Tell your mom to learn about coding too. No, <laughs> any family. Yeah, have a good day, man. Hope you're enjoying the fall. The cold weather's here, unless you're in Miami. But actually, I think it was cold this past weekend, so. Yeah, have a good one. Peace. I'm riding between it all in this perfect play. I'm a piece of the puzzle, I'm a fit where you need.